so one of the first things we're going to kind of discuss is what a vpn is and that's probably the easiest thing of this video a vpn is just a virtual private network and that may sound a little weird to some people who are not familiar with it but all it really means is that your internet connection gets routed through another server and that server then connects to the internet for you so a vpn is really just you connecting to a server and then that server connecting to the internet and providing you internet access so now how does that really work so in general normally when you connect to the internet it's just you your connection and then it flows directly to the internet so what's really the problem with that the problem with that is that your data is kind of out there for anyone who knows how to look and where to look so that really doesn't matter if you're connecting to a site like youtube or you're doing some kind of video game or some kind of fun search that doesn't have any data that you really are concerned about people seeing but if you're connecting like to your bank account or your credit card or anything with information that you don't want people having readily access to then that kind kind of is a bad thing because your data is there available and there are people there that can look find your data and use it for malicious reasons so when you use a vpn server your data is encrypted because it goes through the actual vpn app itself and then from there it goes to the internet service provider and then to the vpn server so the vpn server is kind of like that third party that's requesting the information from the site on your behalf so no one can really see where that request is coming from because it's coming from the vpn server so that really helps with the security of your data because one it's encrypted and two when you're doing the request from that website they can't track where that request is coming from you're kind of disguised and you're kind of honed by that vpn server itself so it does help with internet security in a lot of ways so just to reiterate in a very simple format your vpn is basically a connection that connects your pc your smartphone or your tablet to another computer that's a server and then that server connects to the internet for you and allows you to kind of browse the internet with anonymity and security. So when would you really use a VPN server? So that's actually comes in more handy than you would think. So if you're really concerned about internet security and you're really concerned about privacy, then we would suggest you always use a VPN server because it definitely helps secure your private information. Not 100% because nothing is really 100%, but it adds that extra layer of security to your information that you're going to be sending in and out so a lot of business people who travel use vpns because they're connecting to networks that they're not familiar with and it gives them the ability to safely connect to those networks you can also use a vpn if you set up one in your home to access your home information while you're away so you can use it to do some remote desktops you can use it to access local files you can even use it to play games over your LAN network when you're not at home so that's actually a really cool option as well and as we said before you can also use vpns to kind of hide your surfing information your activity when you're at home so if, if you just don't want your internet service provider seeing the kind of activity that you're doing uh, a lot of people are just really concerned with privacy you can use a vpn to kind of disguise your your activities online as well it can help access you know geo blocked websites so for instance if you're traveling and you want to access your netflix or hulu account you can use a vpn to make it look like your connection is coming from the united states so that way you don't have an issue accessing your accounts because sometimes those particular accounts are blocked geographically so if you're in another country it's you're connected to their internet it's not allowing you to access your particular account you can go ahead and use a vpn replicate a united states ip address and you're basically in the us and you can access all the information you need to access so now where can you find a vpn that's actually the easy one the vpns are software so you can just kind of google around for some of the best vpns that are currently out right now we're going to list a couple on the screen just do your research go in read some reviews uh, a lot of people are out there using these items so it'll give you the pros and cons of using them so if you're you know a tech novice or you're not too familiar with technology or you're kind of nervous about technology i would suggest that you not be nervous about using a vpn it's not going to damage or destroy your computer it's not going to do anything to your data this is again just another added layer of protection especially in this day and age where information is being stolen left and 
and right, it's always great to have that additional layer on top of all your data. That way you're, you know, you feel a little bit more secured. Now it comes down to price, of course. How much do these things really cost? And they're not really that expensive. Again, they, the prices do vary from service provider to service provider. What I found is that most of them have a month to month or six month or 12 month, depending on, you know, how much you want to invest. Usually you would get some kind of a discount for doing a six or 12 month. And the prices usually range from like $7.99 per month to about $100 per year, depending on the VPN that you choose. And each of them have their pluses and minuses. So again, it's just about searching around, doing your research. And I think that's probably one of the best things I can ever suggest about tech is if you're ever nervous or concerned about exploring a new piece of technology or getting into a new area of technology, researching, getting information, reading about it will definitely lower some of that anxiety that you would feel and kind of get you more motivated and more into assimilating that technology into your day to day life. So in closing, we definitely do recommend VPNs because they're an added layer of security. Securing your data is definitely number one reason you should go with a VPN. But we've listed a couple of other things that it's beneficial for that you can probably use it for and set up in your day to day life. It definitely does help though to have an additional layer of security whenever you're accessing the wild wild west of the internet. Now that's going to do it for our VPN video guys. If you have any thoughts, opinions or questions, go ahead and post them down in the comment section below this video. We'll be glad to answer them as best as we can. If you enjoyed the video, if it was informative, if you learned anything at all, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our community. Thank you so much again for checking out the video and until next time, peace out.